Hey guys, your boy Chill here. Welcome back to Pantrio. In the last video, I gave you a little tour. Some of the basic things we can do with view. Today, we are going to upgrade our view from crappy old JavaScript to the new sexiness of TypeScript. All right, so what do we got to do here? Well, first off, Nuxt gives us a lot of scaffolding for getting TypeScript all set up. So it's actually a pretty painless process, uh, which is... Um, it's it's special, it's extra, compared to what the, the process normally is of getting TypeScript up and running. So what do we need? Well, we're going to install some more node packages. The main one here is Nuxt TypeScript build. But that's not all. There's a few other things we can get in here. So another one we'd like to have is Nuxt types. And this will give TypeScript information about all the different static types of the different things in Nuxt, so that TypeScript can analyze them and, uh, you know, make sure that everything is kosher. And likewise, we can get types for Node. I don't know how much Node things we actually end up using, but it, it doesn't hurt. Certainly doesn't hurt. Uh, what else? I'm just looking at my, my list here. Uh, well, we would like to have view property decorator and I believe view property decorator includes um, another package called view class component and this will allow us to write our components as TypeScript classes and as you'll see that's actually quite sexy so we are going to install all of these packages and that actually happens like super fast here yeah, it only took like a few seconds actually uh, so, what's next? Well, uh, we have to change our Nux config just a wee little bit. Let's go into Nux config.js, and uh, I believe we add a build module in here. Yes, yeah, so we just say, you know, this module, this will be used while we're building, TypeScript build, and it will build our TypeScript things. Okay. Now one more, uh, one more thing, little fairly important detail here. We need a, uh, we need a configuration file for TypeScript itself. That's called tsconfig.json. And uh, I'm just going to copy and paste from something that I have here. This is basically based on, if you go into the Nuxt, um, Nux TypeScript build, the project has its own documentation. If you go into there, it's basically, this is the file that they tell you to use. Lots of options in here. I, yeah, I don't really know what they, what they all mean. I mean, I know this one, what this means is when you compile the TypeScript down, um, what language are you going to compile it to? Because there are different versions of JavaScript, right? Which is actually uh, called ECMA script. And depending on what version you target, you know, you'll be able to support different browsers. Apparently we're targeting ES 2018. I, it seems to work as far as I can tell in a different project where I use this. Now the module thing, I don't really understand this. JavaScript doesn't support, well, maybe the newer versions do, but uh, generally the stuff in the browsers don't support modules, but Node does. I don't know. I don't I don't get JavaScript modules, but apparently there's way there's a lot of different ways you can skin that cat. It's very annoying. There's there's AMD, which does not stand for Advanced Micro Devices. There's UMD, which is not something that you find in the PS Vita uh, or what was it, the PlayStation Portable? I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. Listen, I don't know what this means. Okay, I don't know what this means. Lib, no, don't. Maybe I know what this means. It means like we have access to DOM functions from the DOM library, but uh, I don't know what that means. Experimental decorators. Okay, so there's things in TypeScript called decorators. I think you need this to, to be able to use them, and we will be using them. So this is an important one. Uh, again, I don't, I don't get it. Allow JS. So this allows some JavaScript things that would normally be flagged by TypeScript. It's very good if you have like a project that's sort of like in transition. Source map, this is important for debugging. 
So when you uh, set a breakpoint and you lo- you're in the uh, the browser developer tools and you're stepping through the JavaScript, well, you don't want to step through the actual JavaScript because it's going to look kind of like trash because that's just the compiled output from TypeScript. You want to step through the actual TypeScript, and the source map will allow you to do that. It'll map the JavaScript to the actual TypeScript that you wrote. Strict, and eh, some kind of strictness. I don't know what I don't know what exactly is being strict here. Maybe it's strict type checks. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. I don't know what this one means. No implicit any. So, if you don't give a type on an object, implicitly it will be any. Uh, unless you turn this to true. If you say no implicit any, then you have to type every single variable that you have. And I don't want to do that. I, I, I'm fine with having implicit any's in there. And also, I believe this might also mess up JavaScript code, but it doesn't matter. Paths, I'm not exactly sure what these paths are for. I think maybe they're for when you do imports. And what we're saying is that the base of the import state, import uh, statement or whatever, is going to be in the pantry folder here. And what else here? Types. Okay, so we're saying, yeah, you pick up type information from type slash node and nuxt slash types. Use that when you're compiling. It'll be all good. Type roots. I don't know. I don't think we need this one. And we want to exclude node modules from compilation. You know, all that stuff in there is packages that we've pulled in from the internet. Okay, so there's the there's the tour of tsconfig.json. A lot of it, I have no idea exactly what it does. I have a very vague idea of what it's supposed to do, and that doesn't really matter. It's gotten me this far. If if I ever need to really do a deep dive, I will. But for right now. Less I know, the better. You know what I'm saying? Ignorance is bliss. That's what they tell me. Okay, so one more thing that you need to do when you're when you're doing TypeScript with Java or with Vue.js is we're gonna create a folder here. So just like these types libraries here, they they describe type information over top of things that were originally in JavaScript. We can do that ourselves too. We can create our own. We're going to create our own types folder here. No, already exists. That's weird. Uh, it's probably from something else. I did a little. I did a little test run here to make sure everything would work properly, and it worked pretty well. Uh, but apparently, when you uh, when you undo the Git stuff, when you go to a different branch, it doesn't delete folders, right? Git doesn't track folders; only tracks files. So this was that's remained. That's fine. Uh, so we want to create a new file in here, and we are gonna call it view shim d ts. So d is like a thing stands for definition. It defines things for TypeScript, and what we're gonna be defining is uh, I'm not exactly sure but it it needs so these there are these files dot view files right you saw me working with them in the last video that's our single f- file components and apparently we just need to just declare a module star dot view and import view I don't know just tell typescript about single file components or something like that doesn't matter we just need it in there you need it you put it in and there's, you're good to go. Probably. We'll see. Uh, and there you go. I think that's basically all the setup that we need. Now, with this in place, I believe that we should be able to run without any changes. No, not that. And it should maybe work. Unless I missed something. It should compile. So you see here, this new line, this wasn't there before. Issues checking in progress. So this is TypeScript. After everything's built, it's make it's doing its static check, making sure everything is kosher. It will alert you if there's any kinds of things that look wrong, which JavaScript will not do. JavaScript will just say, yeah, I mean, it won't say anything. There's really not much. There's no complication. 
It's just you you you're off on your merry way, and then you get you get effed, you get effed up the B somewhere down the road, and that's why I like TypeScript because I don't. I mean, that's not if that's your kink, that's fine. But I don't personally. I'm not into it. So if we go Pantrio 3000, um, yeah, we got our view application and it is working. So you can you can set up TypeScript. Uh, all your things that were not in TypeScript will still work just as they worked before. Not a big deal, not a deal at all. Not even a little deal. Now let's say we want to upgrade this one, we want to get to the new hotness. What do we got to do? Well, first thing we got to do is we're going to, so in the script tag here, we can set language equal to TypeScript. So now we're saying compile this as this script here thing here, do it as TypeScript, do me. Uh, and now we want to import two things. We want to import view and we want to import component from view property decorator. And what this is going to allow us to do is now we can create our component as a class. And the way we do that is we go export default class and we'll just call this, you know, index class extends view. And there we go. And the last thing we want to do this is a component. We mark it with the component decorator. And this allows TypeScript to add a whole bunch of machinery into here. That's going to make our life a lot easier. It's going to make our life very nice. Now, here's the thing. So you see these things like this data function where you define uh, the component data, which is basically you can think of it as the member data of the component. You don't need that anymore. We're, we're now in sexy land. We get to be sexy get down with your bad self. You just define it like this, like you would define any data in a class. What about the methods? Yeah, we don't need this. We don't need this. It's not a freaking list. Just define methods and you've got methods. You don't need to pussyfoot around with all this dumb JavaScript bullshit. Suck my balls. Um, should probably, should probably cut down on the, on the expletives for YouTube's sake. But you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, now, if you want a computed property, what is computed? Computed is a get only. It's, you're getting data, usually, generally based on other kinds of data. You're making some kind of computation, you're only getting the result. You can't set. Um, in TypeScript, you just say get, you make a getter, and it's computed. It makes perfect sense. Everything is beautiful and clean, and I love it. And so, and there you go, we've done it. This is what it looks like in TypeScript. It's a lot cleaner, it's a lot simpler. Ah, oh, wait, I should probably get rid of these commas because now, you know, JavaScript garbage. But anyways, well, it's interesting. I, I was assuming that, um, view property director has a dependency on view class component. So if you just include that one, you get them both, but apparently that's not the case. So that's fine. We just do npm install view class component and we'll be off to the races. Do a little dance, drink a little water, get down tonight. All right, let's try this again. npm run dev. And now this should do work. I'm just wondering why why do I have redness here? Some kind of syntax problem maybe? All right, I still got the dumb JavaScript syntax. Yeah, so we're creating variables, we assign them with the equal sign, right? It's just I I mean, I I just like the syntax better. Well, what can I say? And there you go. We have no issues found. We are ready to go. Okay, let's do a little test here. Uh, we're gonna load this again and we'll add something. Ah, well, I should probably add a number. Yeah, number is probably what we what we're expecting here. There you go. It's good stuff. And that, my friends, is basically it. Um, of course, when we get dig into more 
other view features then we'll we'll have different things that we can play around with with uh, the typescript stuff as well the view class component and the view property direct decorator and there's also um, view x has a class library for it so we'll have nice support for that when we dig into view x and it's going to be a good time but uh yeah that's going to do it for this video i guess in the next video uh, what we're going to do is actually we're going to look at the front end framework that we're going to be adding in here uh, I figure we'll get, I mean, I don't want to manually write CSS and, you know, design the components. That's, it's, it's not a good match for my skill set. Let's just put it that way. So I've, uh, I have my, in my mind, I have a good little framework that we're going to use. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to integrate it into the project and we're going to just play around with it for a little bit. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. It helps a lot. And I will see you soon with some more Pantrio.